What? No, I got the camera. I got my toilet thing. My toilet? This shit is not even. The bad. Because it makes you look tall. That is even, Lewis. Yeah. You know what it is? Is I got better posture than you. Yeah, in real in real life, you are taller than me. But I got better posture. How do you think I was in the fucking military? Playing Call of Duty and Xbox doesn't qualify you to be the military, <laughs> man. Shit. So what's up, man? I think it's good, man. I'm fucking. I'm hype. I'm we back, bitches. Woo! I'm looking forward to this new year, Lewis. I'm looking forward to this new year, man. Yo, you understand, know Lewis? People was hitting us, hitting us up big time. No, they were asking, where were we? The streets messed us. These motherfuckers don't understand that we, they, they, we're human too, and they, and they, and then we celebrate the birth of baby Jesus. You, well, speaking of the birth of baby Jesus, you know William, our employee. Right I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put, a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put one of those signs on him because you gonna ask him out, yeah, or just no, just not, not ask him out because that'd be too like too aggressive. But I want to put that, you know, that sign, that don't the don't sign, you know, that you yeah, yeah, yeah. just. He hasn't been here in over two in over three months, Lou. Well, you know it's a new year, so he he, he accumulated his uh, vacation time, so he's taking it up front. Oh, he's take. Oh, oh, that, that's how it works. I'm, I'm saying that's what most people do. I, you know what it is? I'm not even gonna bring it up because I, we've been talk, we've we've talked about letting him go, but we don't we don't come we to don't act on it. Act on it, and we don't yes. always agree on who is gonna give him the news. What, what the fuck? Oh, cheers! Happy, happy, happy New Year, brother. Here you go. Look, at, look into my eyes when you when you when you, when you clean. <laughs> you know, the proximity <laughs> on this. If you people are wondering, so what happened was what well, we went to that survey group, right? They looked at our show and made suggestions. <laughs> they said we're too far apart that we need to get closer. <laughs> the people have to feel our closeness. <laughs> Yo, so what's going on? How was your trip, man? It was it was good. It was good. It was good. It was very good. It was it was it was uh, uh, very relaxing. Really, how can you get any more relaxed than you are already? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You know, you're the problem. You're the problem. The you, the way you think about my lifestyle is how everybody thinks, and you guys are wrong. I I live, I live. I'm not gonna say stressful life, but I have I have stress in my life. <laughs> The only thing I could think of is if Domino's comes later than 30 minutes. Wow. I don't even eat Domino's. I stay with the mom and pop stores, Lil. Oh, Vincent's? Vicente! <laughs> <laughs> you can't oh, over there? Funny, uh -huh. funny. Shh, let me tell you something about, let me tell you something about my trip. Uh -huh. Guess who was over there while I was over there? Macho. Macho. You told me. Do you, do you uh, link yeah. up with him? I couldn't link up with him because, he see, this is the island. I'm over here, southeast. Mm -hmm. He was in the north, northwest. Oh, that's about an hour and a half, two hours? Uh, two hours, two and a half hours. And I like macho, but it's not it's not two and a half hours. like. And then to drive that far to abuse him is kind of fucked up, too. <laughs> that, that would really make you a sick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Some funny shit. So you know, it, it, it was it was it was it was it was very. It was very. Uh, he, he tried. He tried to link up. As a matter of fact, I told him that. Um, I told him that in uh, January sixteenth to the nineteenth is La Fiesta de la Calle San Sebastián. <sighs> Sebastian Street, the Fiesta of Sebastian Street. Yeah. We're gonna start the new year like that, Lewis. I'm just saying, I I, I translated for my American start the new year like for, that. For my uh for this, for, uh, yeah. Oh my god. Uh -huh. so I'm gonna be so <laughs> Yo! What's up everybody? Welcome back to Bree Shooters 2020. Happy New Year's everyone. Uh, Our vision is correct, Amundo. It's clear, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bree Shooters, the show that brings you news, sports, poker, and everything in between. We love the tweeters. I'm your host, Lou. Yes, sir. by my very good friend, Chris. 
AKA Mr. Illa. <laughs> Yo, so um, how were the holidays? It was gotta start there. Cause I, I, I think you were on Suicide Watch when I spoke to you. I, was that Christmas Eve? No. It was the day before Christmas Eve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Chris, you scared me. You, sh you sent me a, a photo. <laughs> And I, all I was thinking is, this guy's going over the ledge today. <laughs> I don't want to divulge too much, but it was, it was a little, it was a little scary. Get, well, Not that it was scary, but it was but, like I said, this guy's, he's gonna, get, he's gonna do a John Belushi. Because <laughs> you know what the problem is, you're not used to seeing me in a, in a, in a certain mode, uh -huh. uh, a certain state of mind. Uh, but it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was a great experience. Because it tests my mental fortitude. Oh, you must have had fun. Um, Did you enjoy yourself, or it, don't, don't they say those are like uh, buzz kills situations like that? Well, I just I I, I, I took the see I, I'm an opportunist. People might think that's a bad thing. Okay. But it's not. Okay. Um, so I took the opportunity to. Make a so-so situation into a a better situation. A, a learning situation. Okay. So you know, you know, Lou, we all we playing chess. So I'm over here thinking, all right. So if I find myself in this situation ever again, mm -hmm. where I'm moving my pawn, mm -hmm. where I'm moving my knight, where I'm moving my bishop, there you go. You got something in your. Speaking about that's why I was 2020. That's why when you don't have a makeup artist on on, on staff. Oh, we got, we got, now we have free up. We, we we're freeing up space for new employees, so we got we got there's a slot open. Yeah, it could be it could be. I'm thinking the next person that we get to to work with us has to be. Uh, uh, remember that? Remember um? What was his the quarter? The first quarterback, the the black quarterback that they, they from Pittsburgh, they said slash Cordell Stewart. Stewart. The next job position position that title is gonna be slash, cause I want that person to. <laughs> it's gonna do everything. Everything, everything. Maybe that's why we chased this guy away. I don't. I well, he wasn't really doing. He was just like he. We just come with the iPad and. And just so you you, and, you and, had no respect for the guy's position. No, 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 no. You just said that. Yeah, like, man, like, like it's not. No, it's not. It should not because and then he would we'd be talking about basketball. He's bringing up uh, 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 rugby rugby <laughs> stories, lacrosse, lacrosse. And I'm like, okay, I guess we're trying to be diverse. I don't know. I, I just it, it was it was it was so you know you know I just so now. Slash that uh, there's an open position. What's the position's name? Title slash a little <laughs> bit of everything to do, do as needed. Exactly. Um, so while you were gone, you missed a lot. I know you're not the type of guy to tune in to watch TV, especially when you're away on vacation. So I thought of something. I said, I thought of a little segment. Okay, I like, I, you know, what, Lewis, I like when you think about segments. And catch me by surprise. Yep. This is called Since You've Been Gone segment. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I have a top 10 of things that occurred. Okay. And I want your thoughts and your opinions. All right. All right. So we'll start. We'll start. with. Would, no would it be a good idea that you would give me the so I know? No. Why would we do that? It wouldn't be fun. <sighs> Hold on. This might be important. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, take it, take it. Hello? I, I got it already. Thank you. Yes, I have it. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. I want to apologize. I want to apologize Yo. to our viewers Yo. who do not deserve this unprofessional-like conduct. You know, it, listen, we all have... Attention. <laughs> we all have phones. You know what I do with mine, Louis? I put it on airplane mode. That's my bad, Christian. That's why. But I'm... how many times we're starting off the this? This is the first like time I ever did this, Chris. <clears throat> Back to the segment. So, Chris, all right. So, 
We have 10 things, right? Okay. Want your thoughts and opinions. All right. Number one. Hold on, hold on, Chris. Let me cue this up right. Do, do it the right way. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> David Stern passed away. David Stern passed away? Yes. The legendary NBA commissioner, the visionary, that's what they called him. Because yeah, no, no, what I... he did, the, before he got there, the NBA was, uh, was a professional franchise, but it was struggling. It didn't have all the eyes that it has today. And because of his uh, visionary work in terms of highlighting uh, specific players, Bird, Magic, making like that, that, that rivalry he, thing a big thing, he, you attracted a lot of no, fans. No. And, you know, he was fortunate that these players came at the time they did, but he really put those players at the front of the organization, which led to a lot of uh, attendees coming to games, viewership, what have you. He, you know, he even actually uh, gave Magic Johnson back in the day uh, a percentage of the merchandising. Whatever he sold, he got uh, he got a little wow. cut. Yeah. I think Magic Johnson was the, the only player... I don't know if Jordan probably worked something like that, but I, I know Magic Johnson was the first and might have been the only player to work out that type of agreement with us. Uh, because he was a lawyer. You know, he graduated from Columbia Law. Stern. Yeah, so he worked with the NBA as a, an advisor. So he kind of saw how the operation was running, and he was like, you know what? There's a lot of uh, things here that they can improve on. And then he later became the commissioner, and he took it to the next level. So your thoughts on David Stern passing? It, it, it's sad. Um, uh, before I, I left, I heard that he, he, he had some type of hemorrhage in his brain. Uh, I honestly, me being the person that I am, I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be good. You know, we'll be back up. and Because you're optimistic. Very optimistic, very positive thinker. And, and, and But, um, uh, so, wow, it's, 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 it's crazy. But he did, he, he did, uh, he did really up, up, upped, upgraded the NBA. He made it a, 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 a international brand, very yes. business, uh, he what he did, and this is what people don't understand. What David Stern did for the NBA also poured out a spread out to the other sports uh, 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 franchises. It's funny you say that. Uh, Roger Goodell, who's the who's the commissioner for the NFL, uh -huh. he high praise from a lot of people came out to like his. Um, Wake. His, his wake, his uh -huh. funeral, what have you, just to praise him because he he was he was a, a trendsetter in terms of what he did. The NBA, <clears throat> the, well, the NFL of course leads the way, but the NBA though is very uh, progressive in what they do with their athletes. NBA players have a voice, and if you see them, they're very involved in social media. A lot of other sports, they kind of like like baseball. They kind of like um, how would you say? They kind of they, hold they, them back. Yeah, they, they don't they, really they, let them be themselves. They take the back seat. Yeah. And they, you know, yeah. So, yeah. So, you can definitely more characters in the NBA. NFL, you have characters, but with the helmet, it yeah. kind of, you know, you people don't really know who they are. So, very sad. Very sad. Very sad. Sad sad, sad time for uh, uh, the NBA and, and, and sports uh, everywhere. I think David Stern was, a, was a, like you said, a visionary and a very good cool one at that. Yay! Okay, so moving on, topic number two. Or, <laughs> what are your thoughts? The Patriots lose in the playoffs to the Tennessee Titans. You might you might have seen this game. Did you get back in time to see this game? Um, I I I I got here. I didn't see the game though. Okay, your thoughts? Um, a dynasty coming to an end. I think that uh, uh, you know, when you're not allowed to cheat. You're not gonna win. I kind of figured you were gonna go there. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. I thought you would respect them because one by any means. I don't. I don't. Res I don't respect cheaters. Chris, I play basketball with you. Uh, is this a topic right now? <laughs> is, this, is this a topic you know right what? now? So I'm glad that. The, oh my god. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Segment number three. Alrighty. Drake sits down with Elliot Wilson's podcast and reveals that he will never forgive Kanye and Pusha T for revealing his child in a diss track. Drake says Kanye has issues that he can't personally help him with. Wow, I didn't know. It got serious with the rappers again? 
Well, no, this is remember I, over the summer. Pusha T had a no, no. I remember the yeah. black and gold Pusha T. So now I guess this is the first time Drake is actually speaking about it. So they had a they had an interview with him, a full length interview, and Drake revealed that you know he 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 couldn't see himself forgiving those two guys for what they did. You know, what are your thoughts on that? Um, uh, you are see, you, first of all, are you familiar with what what Pusha T said? I, I, I am. I'm a little bit foggy because, like I said, that was like you said, it was it was a, f a few months ago. So Pusha T in a, in a this track. Yeah. Apparently Dre had a kid. Yeah, Pusha T. Dre, about, yeah, about yeah, yeah. Tonight. yeah. Well, you know what it is. Um, I think anybody that goes at uh, that gets in the beef with Drake, he's gonna have the the rapper's gonna have in mind what Drake did to Meek Mill. And I'm sorry. One more thing to that. He he was a little sensitive too about the fact that. They were talking about how he has ghost riders, so he was like, you know, he has he's a little upset about that because okay. he feels like his his does legacy he, is going to be tarnished. Now. Does he does he have ghost riders? Because I've uh, heard uh, that uh, a lot. Apparently, they, they said he does. He, uh, I think it's forty. The, some guy forty from the school writes a lot of his stuff. Oh, yeah? I don't know to what extent. I don't know if they just share ideas. Because a lot of people, what they do is they join yeah, writing. Yeah, yeah. I write a little verse. You write a little verse. You got a song. Exactly. Or are you writing for me? Or am I motivating you? Or are you motivating me? I don't um, know how to break that down. I think it's a collaboration of things. Like, take this show, for example. I do everything. You All do. the thoughts, ideas that come here. But I bring them out to you, and I wait for your reaction. So that's your contribution. And my input. Absolutely. So what is 11%? Makes me my turkey. <laughs> Seven oh of a four. Oh my god. Antonio Brown. What the fuck Antonio Brown did now, man? He's back. He's back in the league? No, he started making music music videos. Chris, you're gonna like this. One of his songs is titled No White Chicks for 2020. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I think he lost his mind. He, he there might be some mental health issues there, but No, they've been saying he has mental health so issues. So during the playoffs he's been set, sending out music videos and he's like either playing instruments or singing and I'm like he, he's, he's bugged out now. Damn. Yeah, I feel bad for him. But what are your thoughts? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so upset at Antonio Brown because I can't even find humor in this, which is, I'm pretty sure it's hilarious. Well, I haven't, you truthfully, I haven't seen the video. Oh, okay. So next time you bring something up, make sure you do your... Do well, I think I'll be on the same page as you. This is just... No, you just said that you bring, you do everything. And you bring stuff to the table and then you get my reaction and my input. Okay. Okay. So, if uh, how are we gonna have a back and forth if you didn't see the videos? I, I gotta have a back and forth with you, no, no matter what. I, 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 so we're just gonna I have, have the, I have the gist gonna, of the conversation. We're gonna, we're gonna bullshit the audience. It's ninety-five percent. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing with uh with uh with uh with Antonio Brown is so much fucking talent, man. Oh God. So much talent, and and I'm 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 not only upset at him. I'm upset at the people around him. Cause there gotta be somebody there that, that that has to tell him, yo T, come on man, let's 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 work this way. Let's let's try to get this. Let's get you back on track. You need help. You need this. You need that. And I do believe he has mental health issues. Yeah, I think there's something going on up but, there. But you know, it's, I, I, along with this is this is bad. Cause he just he just this is another another super talented athlete that 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 that's throwing everything away and and and. We cannot make a change if we don't change ourselves, and that's the problem. That's I don't see him as an individual fucking up. I see it like he's bringing down the culture, the minorities. He's bringing us, and, and I hate to use the word minorities. He's bringing down the race. I don't, they're gonna be looking at you know. Oh, hey, that's why you can't give him that much money. That's why you can't do this. That's why you can't do that. That's what I don't like. You know. You know I don't like Kobe Bryant, and I'm sorry I'm going a little bit topic. Never, 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 never did. Never. I, I thought he was an arrogant prick. I never, never liked him or whatever, whatever. But when Kobe got accused of that rape charge, I don't know if it was true or not, or if, if he was. I'm like, why would you put yourself in that position? You're a top athlete. You know, you got kids looking up to you. You gotta, you gotta change. This is why people can say, why would the fuck they want LeBron James? LeBron James is making a fucking change. And you know, he, with the school, with the way he carries himself, with the way he's making a change. They want to go back, oh yeah, he, he, he talked to two guys to, to do a super team. I don't give a fuck. I'm over here thinking he is, he is trying 
to better ourselves. And that's when I see these athletes that have this potential, that have this this opportunity, and they do shit like that, it, it upsets me. But I'm gonna look at these videos. Yeah, I hope you do. I am, I am, I am. So you can be informed. All right. That's your job. Moving on to Top. number five. I don't know. You were giving like, me. You were giving me funny no, looks. No, this know? is this is your new toy. He has a new toy, people, okay. and he wants to. So you know what? Play uh, with your toy, Lewis. Oh, God. Pause. <laughs> what well, what number are we on? Number five. Oh, little shimmy. Trump versus Iran. Oh, All right. God, this is so, weird. so Trump. Uh, <laughs> Trump uh, launched uh, an attack against Iran, a uh, sponsor militia group at their base in Iraq and Syria in response to a series of rocket attacks that led to the death of an American contractor two days earlier, right? So I guess that was on uh, one day. Then a couple of days later, a U.S. drone killed Somali. Nobody can see because you're blocking it. A U.S. drone kill Salamini. There we go. I, I, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> An <a>, Iraqi <laughs> militia leader at the Baghdad airport. Senior State Department officials told reporters that Iran has been plotting imminent attacks directed at a hun uh, at killing a hundreds of Americans. Your thoughts? <clears throat> Oh my God! I, 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 I uh, once again mixed feelings because, um, and we're not a political podcast. But not at all. From time to time, we'll we'll we'll, we'll dip our toe. I don't know if Lou votes. I don't. I have a green card. How can I vote? I don't vote either. Are you? Are you a citizen? I I choose uh, to, to uh, not identify. To not identify. <laughs> I'm a gender neutral. <laughs> Um, no, and just so you have a little more, he's even talking about draft. He's talking about, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm bad news. Yo. I'm going away. No, uh, first of all, I think you got to be under 21. Under 21. Oh, it would have yeah, like boys all, under 21. Yeah, get all these fucking millennials I got two out boys. Uh, no, but Sean is good. Uh, little Louis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, no. I, I could get him out of it. Uh, uh, listen, uh, if there's anybody that can do it. <laughs> I know you could. Yeah. So, what do you think? What do you think? This is a play to keep himself relevant to kind of forget the the whole impeachment. Yeah, I think that's the play. I kind of figured that too. I think that's the play. Only problem is he's playing with human lives. Yeah. You know, just to save his ass. And the thing is, I don't know if I might be misremembering correctly. I like how. How do you misremember correctly? Ooh. That's for another Look that up. That's a good. That's a good play on words. That's my new thing for 2020. Play on words. Okay. Misremembering correctly. Clinton did the same thing. Uh, what's that? The government. When Clinton was was getting impeached for jizzing on on the girl. Jism? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to get. I don't want to get too 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 graphic, Lou. So you know, for for you know for for soiling her. Whatever, I don't know what the fuck you call it. You know what he did. Yeah, in, in that impeachment process, also, a, 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 a little uh, uh, attack or or uh, threats came up to, uh, also with Iran. Oh, yeah, really? I guess that's my problem. Once again, I'm, I'm, I'm almost sure, but I'm not. Just double check that, but it, that's what happened. So you, oh, okay. It's just you know, but the thing is, they're playing with, 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 with human lives. You know, so it's that. I'm pretty sure they know what they're doing, and, and they know it, it, how far it's gonna go. And uh, this is probably all just like you know for the media. Hoopla, hoopla. Whoa. Tell you, come here. I was laying, yang. What is that? Kaka, kaka. What the fuck is that? This poor girl. Number six. Yo. New York City housing employee shoots his supervisor three times, close range, and then flees the scene in the car. City worker shoots city worker shoots his supervisor three times. Three times and leaves. Leaves. 
Uh, your thoughts, I, your opinions. Okay, uh, is, is this a man-woman type thing? Man-man? You don't know? No, that, that wasn't revealed. Well, the, the guy that got shot was... No, it was man, man on man. Man on man. That's that's terrible. No, and the the, the backstory was, you know how they always get like that that perfect interviewer. I told him he was crazy. You you leave a nut job here, he ain't gonna do something like that. Ah. <laughs> so apparently the K was like a fire. Oh, Bronx, your old stomping ground. He was what one of those probably wild boys and the supervisor. I don't know, maybe try to write him off. Came with, across the wrong way. Three. There's no job. There's no job worth your life. You think he could come back? Because the guy didn't die. You think if the guy came back and said, hey, it was a misunderstanding, my bad. I'm going to start my shit. I'm pretty sure. He should be good. <laughs> well, the guy, in, oh, he in that close range. How the fuck he shoot him? I don't know. It might have been a cheap 22. Maybe, you know. I don't know. Oh, you know, you, you, there's some guys that shoot Chris, but they don't want to kill. They're going to go for your ankle, toe. Like, I could do 10 years, but I don't want to do 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> There's some crazy shit, man. There's some crazy people out there. Oh, uh, hold on one second. Here we go. Lou has a guy, uh, my people, Lou has a, a nice gadget that he's been working on. I, I, know, I know these last two weeks have been, he's been itching to use. <laughs> Boom. That's what we think of your joke. <laughs> Number seven. Okay. You actually might be informed on this, but. I'm gonna bring it up. I didn't get. I didn't hear your thoughts. So that's why. All right, it. go right ahead. Fourteen-year-old girl is abducted from the train. Wow. So a man attempts to snatch a fourteen-year-old girl from the train while her father is sleeping uh, by her side. Uh, the you, the guy was wearing all red. I did was, see this. I think you actually posted it, but I didn't hear your thoughts though. Uh, do you see the follow-up video to that? Yeah. A, a group of guys it's stomp them out. Yeah, they beat yeah. them down, and there's been there's been like. Uh, Total, there's been like four or five videos, believe it or not. Your thoughts, and then I'm going to tell you something I heard over the weekend from right. a reliable source. From a reliable source? Lou, we... No, my, my, my friends in the NYPD. When, I, when I'm on a case, I'm on a case. His friends are the NYPD. <laughs> I have no affiliation with that. I'm from the streets. Oh. The streets is mine. I didn't tell you they were dirty. Ah! <laughs> Alonzo! So, um... First video, disgusting. That's the one where he's tapping her foot, trying to get her attention. Exactly. Uh, that's the first video. He grabs her, he goes out, whatever, whatever. Guys, yeah. Second video, I felt... Uh, I'm sorry, what's the second video? The second video is when, when, when he got stomped out. Okay, okay. Right? That, and I, I was happy for that. I was super happy. Yeah, I see. I, 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 I do justice. Exactly, yeah. you know. Uh, they didn't kill him, but they gave him a nice, him a nice, a nice yeah. whoop ass. Even with that, I still want to get arrested. Oh, no, 110%. Yeah. Uh, third video. Explain that, because I didn't see that one at all. The third video, they catch him in a court. Uh-oh, I saw a picture of him being in cuffs or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Then the, 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 that's the third, the fourth. They catch him in a coffee shop, and... Uh, they're recording him, asking him questions. Why'd you do that? Why'd you rape? Whatever. Why'd you try to rape? He says, I didn't rape nobody. And as you can see, I'm a free man. Whatever, whatever. And that, and he kept talking and and and, 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 and ex, uh, explaining his, himself. He said that he thought she was in trouble or something, whatever, whatever. Pause right there. Uh-huh. So my reliable source told me that there's another video where... The girl might have been telling that guy, the guy in red, that she was there. Um, she was like kind against, of like a, against her will. Against her will, like she was pretty much like a, a, a trap there. Because we don't know if that's her father. I don't. At no point she said, "Daddy, daddy, help yeah, me." Yeah, no, no. She's just screaming, "Help yeah, me, yeah. help me!" So this other video, this alleged other video, is there's a conversation where she's telling the guy because notice. The one that we everybody saw was she was like sleeping yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. trying to wake her up. But apparently there was another video where they're having a conversation and she might have been telling him, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm here, but I don't really want to be here. So who knows? Either way, you don't lift the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go. Fifth video. Fifth? Fifth video. This is all social media, by the way. Okay. And this is where things get 
Like I'm starting to look at this like, wait a minute. It's giving a little money. They bumped into each other. How? What are the chances? You're in New York, motherfucking city, man. He bumped what, into the girl. He, the girl and the dude with no shoes. I don't know if you saw the video. The mm -hmm. dude that was there had no shoes or whatever. And that dude's a pussy. Cause he goes out of the train, wah, 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 and she saw him, yeah, he tried to take me, tried to take me, who, 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 there's only one person sitting in front of him, he ain't do shit. Chris, you, you never, you never did that in your life? What? My time. He's like, <laughs> why the doors are not closing? <laughs> he said, that motherfucker's about six foot three. <laughs> so, so, uh, this last video I saw, they're in the street, and she's going at the dude. Oh, why'd you grab me? Why'd you do this? Do that? And the other dude that was with her, that, he was there too. It seems... Almost staged? Yeah. Now, I'll tell you about that, that. That first video looked very compelling, man. When he pulled her out like no, that, he it, put her on the chair. It looked bad. It I looked, was it like, looked, man. It looked really every bad. Every mother, every father was clutching their kids. Uh, they, yeah. They're like nervous. It it's looked like, really bad, That's bro. the bad thing about the social You start seeing this, you get panicked. First thing I said, look to my daughter. You see this shit? If they can do it in the train, they can do it anyway. Guess what my daughter says? That's why I don't ride the train. <laughs> but I'm saying, it's it made me nervous for a little bit. Because when you have daughters, you know, no, no, you think the worst. Cool, you know. And then that whole thing with Carol. So what the fuck's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girls are getting snatched off the street. No, no, it's, 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 a, it's been an ongoing uh, problem uh, lately. But then the, the girl Carol, you know, put a, puts a damper on it. And But this, I, I, just, I just found it weird that... In that last video that I saw, they were, they bumped into each other again in the street and there was yeah, a person from, That was really? very, and the cameras happened to pop off. Yeah, and if somebody's recording it, whatever, whatever, and then, I don't know, man, I just, I just, listen, at the end of the day. You're right, there's probably uh, more to that story. Uh, yeah, do the sound effect, please. <laughs> Back to Trump. Again, Trump? Food stamps. So uh, the Trump administration announced they plan Wednesday to end food stamp benefits for about 700,000 Americans, issuing a new regulation that makes it harder for states to gain waivers from a requirement that beneficiaries work or participate in a vocational training program. So I guess now they, they're going to actually make you work for that money. You have to do some type of vocational training. Um, I, I'll agree with that. If, if, if you're capable of working, if, if, I, I believe you should work for, you know, a little four hours here, five hours there. A little part-time? A little part-time, just to, you know, and then, and then, and then whatever you make, I'll, 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 you know, it's like that, um, the, what this guy, guy, Andrew Yang, I think his name is. Yeah, I like him, he's good. Uh, yeah, he's trying to get the UBI, uh, Universal Base Income, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so I'm guessing, you know, if you make seven hundred dollars a month, he'll give you that three hundred dollars to get you to that thousand dollar limit. So if you get three hundred dollars of uh, of uh, food stamps, uh, you know, okay, if you work a certain amount of hours, then you get, you know, two hundred or one hundred fifty. When when I when I saw this right away, I um I had mixed feelings. I I kind of grew up on food stamps. We, we yeah, yeah, me too. When I was a kid. But I always saw food stamps as a means to get you to that next point, to help you. Yes. You're going through a rough patch. Uh, especially people that just migrated over here. You're trying to get yourself situated. Now, as, as I spent time here and I grew up here, I realized a lot of the people that were on these programs didn't really need this assistance. They were milking the system. There you go. So I think the efforts will be better served trying to crack down on that. Folks that don't deserve that. A lot of business owners, like bodega owners and stuff uh -huh. like that, they'll have their wives at home get, receiving food stamps. Meanwhile, they're making money from the bodega, now they get it that, plus they get the, the uh, Medicaid, Medicare for the, for the state. So it's just ways of the way they're milking the system. I kind of, I, I kind of, I agree with you though, I think there should be a limitation on that. I don't think it should be a, a legacy thing because you see some families there on food stamps their whole lives yeah, exactly. and then their kids go on it yeah. and then their kids go on it. Come on, no. It should be to get you off your feet, get you right, yeah. and then you, you could do good. You know. And that's another thing. And the reason why, see, I'm, I'm, I'm always thinking ahead. I'm, 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 
and I know we're supposed to be, you know, joking and this mm -hmm. and that, but m my thing is, I don't want to see our culture, our society, um, our our race. I'm tired of seeing them enslaved. I'm tired of, and it's and it's us. Mm -hmm. It's us. It's us. It's us. We rather we rather buy a ten thousand dollar Cuban link chain than hold that ten thousand and put a down payment for a house. So, so maybe this, maybe this. Uh, once again, yeah, it's a very slippery slope because um, you want to be able if the people there are people that need it. No, no, absolutely. You know, so you don't want to, you don't want to like slash everybody, but do interviews, do diligence. Like I remember back in the day, um, uh, I don't know here, but in Puerto Rico, they would visit your house. Uh, is that? I forget what the. I, I know what you're talking about. It's, a, it's, a, it's an agency that comes out to kind of see to see, see if what's it, going on. If that you're not committing fraud. That that if it's if it's if it's a single mom. With three kids, I'm pretty sure there's no, still got people there's no, out. so you know, so but now, are, 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 now are we? I'll even you know those same people you have working in these agencies and these food stamp agencies or, or 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 um, social security, so it, 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 you know, send them out. You know, you don't have to employ more people. Just use the same people that you have in the office. I need you to, I need you weekly. I need you to at least uh, visit at least five six houses. You know, it is. I think there's a huge backlog. And um, and then whenever you have these work stoppage for the for the state and stuff like that, I don't I don't I, honestly I'm not even going to speak on it because I don't know it on that end. But I'm just saying I don't think it's a it's an agency that's run efficiently. That's my thing. No, hundred percent. You're right. And then if you ask them to do extra or to do, I don't think it'll be a productive thing. However, though, so how are they gonna? And I'm sorry to interrupt you. How are they gonna get to? I don't how, have the answers. How are they gonna? Uh, uh, how how you just sound like 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 Kanye? No, I really, I, I don't. You don't have the answer, Sway. You don't have the answer, Sway. I don't, I don't. Good but, luck to anybody trying to figure that out. But no, but you know, that, if, that's if, a tough if, one. if he's gonna knock out seven hundred thousand uh, people or food stamps or whatever, how? What we're just gonna pick a name out of the hat and that no. person? Check this out. How about this? You you just created a, a area of uh, employment. Maybe you take a percentage of people that are on public assistance. Be like, hey. We have this initiative that we're starting, and we want you to become agents where you go out in the field and you investigate cases for us. I would say so there's a way to create maybe employment. If they're already on public assistance, you know, this is how you kind of weed them off. Yeah, but that's, that's the thing also. you Because to... remember, you're not going to hire all 700,000. You have a small sector that's going to be responsible. No, of course, of course. You but, understand? Like, like I said, you have to... And that's just a thought. No, no, I don't know if it's feasible or doable. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's doable. I'm not, you know, and if... Uh, you have kids, okay? We'll provide child care for you, on, for, so you can go whoa, work. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Provide child care? You know how expensive that is. No, you, no, the you city. Just, you're just spending our money, right? The city, the city. When you say the city, we, what do you mean city? City how, Chris? The, the, the city, bro. The city, you know, the city. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I told yeah. about you because I was watching Casino. Uh, oh, I sent you the clip. Oh, uh, Joe Pesci's the best. Oh, yeah. he, he, oh my God. He you know what? He is the fucking you know best. What? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Just... Funny how? Tell me how I'm funny. Uh, can you see? I can't. Is it this one? No, that's not it, man. Oh, man. It, that's, that's a classic, too. But... I would, yeah, I would, I would do, I would do. I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you. <laughs> I make you laugh. I'm here to fucking amuse you. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? How the fuck am I funny? Dude, I just, it's just funny. You know how you tell a story, <laughs> No, no, I don't know. You said, how do I know? You said I'm funny. How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? <laughs> tell me, tell me what's funny. I'm funny how? <laughs> I actually, it's funny you brought, uh, you was, we're talking about him. So I was reading this article about the, the Irishman. Yes. I, I think apparently it did pretty well with the Golden Gloves and stuff. Golden Gloves. Gloves, whatever, yeah. whatever. So you know. Golden Gloves is boxing. Uh, that's my time, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you know the guy that's pain, uh, that plays the Italian, um, what's his name? He, he always plays Al Capone. He was in Boardwalk Empire. Yo, I didn't know he he's was a, from the UK, Australia or something. He's, a, he's an English guy. I didn't even know that shit. So. Yeah, UK is English. 
You said Australia. I said UK or Australia or something. Well, so we're just going to group them all together. Whenever they speak, Why not throw a French in Whenever there? they speak funny, like, like, you know. So, apparently, so he's telling the story about his uh, awkward encounter with Joe Pesci. So, uh, Joe, <laughs> you know, Joe Pesci's a wild boy. <laughs> so, he meets Joe Pesci, and he's obviously a fan, and he's like, oh, Joe, how you doing? Uh, but he's speaking with his native tongue. So, <laughs> Joe Pesci's looking at him, and then he pauses, he goes, ah. Maybe I could play your role because that's a Joe Pesci goes. I knew that guy in real life, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to tarnish his character. Maybe I could play your role. So the guy is like, he's like, what the fuck's going on? He's he's like, Joe, you already got a big part. I think you're fine with your part alone. He goes, ah, I don't know. He goes, he goes, why don't you talk the way you talk on camera? Because I don't like the way you're sounding now. No, yo, he told him just like that. That was their first encounter. Then they leave. He's fucking with him though. No, but I, I think Pesh is being Pesh. He's being an, an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> and then on the second one, I think he, he he's fucking with him too. He's like, ah, I don't want you're doing all right, but it could be better, kid. It could be better. <laughs> so I think Pesh was really connected. He knew a lot of these guys. Oh, and stuff. Okay, okay, he's okay. from Newark. You know that, right? Pesh, I, think, I, I didn't, didn't know, know he was from Newark. I didn't know he was from Newark. I saw the guy that you're talking about. I saw an interview, but he was talking about. I forget his fucking His name. scene. His scene with. Uh, with Al Pacino in, in prison with the ice cream and he slapped the ice cream. He says that, and after that he jumps on Pacino. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when the, the, the director Scorsese says cut, he, uh, Al Pacino's, Martin, Martin! He said, get off me. You saw that? The kid actually scared me. He said that? Great acting, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. Number nine. Mr. Eddie Murphy comes back to SNL. Oh, man, I got to catch that. Uh, oh, you... I gotta all catch right, that. all right, we'll just go ahead. Though. So... No, Eddie... no, no, I, 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 go ahead, because I saw I saw the monologue. Okay, yeah, that, that, that was the best part. <laughs> oh, okay, that was the best part that I saw. Eddie Murphy returned to SNL where he, celebra where he was celebrated by fellow comedians Tracy Morgan, David Chappelle, Chris Rock, and Damon Wayans. Your thoughts and opinions? Um, Damon Wayans wasn't there in the monologue. He was in the photograph. You know, he was there. The, am I getting the, the oldest Wayne? That's Damon, right? The oldest Wayne is... Uh, is uh, Keenan. Keenan. Keenan, Keenan Ivory Wayne. Wayne. Sorry. Are you sure it wasn't the fat little chubby dude from SNL who's also Keenan? Whoa. The, yeah, so you're saying all black people look alike? No, I'm not saying what, that. What are, you, what are you saying? I'm just saying that I didn't see... I didn't see it's the oldest... Keenan Ivory Wayne. I didn't see him on the You want to get the picture? I, I, I would like to because... Go ahead, go ahead. So give me your thoughts and I'll get the photograph. Well... Fucking loved it, cause it was Chappelle, it was it was Chris Rock, it was the kid that got hit with the Walmart truck, <laughs> Tracy. Tracy Morgan, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and uh, it was the kid Keenan, the fat chubby kid, uh, and uh, there was somebody else, Chris Rock. Hey, Chris Rock. There was no fucking Keenan Ivory Wayne's in that motherfucker, man. No, he was there. Actually, Keenan, Keenan. Because it was an epic photo. And I, 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 was like, yo, I, I probably shouldn't have been in that. Cause then I, I just look at just I just oh, I want to see the photo for you, Louis. I want to see the photo. I, so I, so I, fill, 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 fill. No, no, I'm gonna fill in because I I feel in I feel in lovely because, by the way. My Buddha, 2020, and myself, wishing everybody a prosperous, prosperous year, healthy year, and. From us, this is my guy. This guy don't fail me. From us to you. That's what we want to Yeah, that's what we want to say. That's what we want to say. As you can tell, we didn't start the drug testing policy here, but it'll become a CEOs are not fucking tested. We exempt. Oh, man. You want to call yourself a jefe? I'm CEO. I got more proof. I don't like that. You threw that 11% out there, Louis. It really, really, really upset me. It upset me because I'm a lot more than 7%. Well, Chris, I couldn't find it. So. Of course you couldn't find it. But, but I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? Why am I going to do the homework? If you guys come across that photo, please send it to us at breeze underscore shooters at Instagram. Thank you. Or post it in the comments in the, in the YouTube. Or just tag us. Facebook, tag us. 
Don't forget to subscribe though. This is a constant reminder. You know, we should have hit the little subscribe. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna get the subscribe with the nice red so it can pop. Just cover Willie's face. Oh yeah, yeah, subscribe <laughs> and the S U. No, 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 no. S U subscribe. S U C suck. We will put suck in his face and then bribe out of the thing. Wordplay. I don't know if that's wordplay, but that's that's where I'm going this year. That's where I'm going this year. <laughs> Number ten. Uh oh. Media attacks Jay Z's daughter. Why the fuck did they attack Jay Z's daughter? So check this out. Blue? Yeah, blue. So, uh, media members recently commented on a picture of Blue Ivy that surfaced. Uh, the journalist uh, tweets uh, she closely resembles her father. And then another journalist came and said, but when he said she closely resembles her father, kind of like playing it down like us. Oh, she's not going to be too pretty because she's looking like her dad. Okay. And then another journalist uh, piggybacked that and said, well, I don't feel sorry for rich kids because she'll be able to play for, uh, pay for plastic surgery later on in life. That's 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 wrong. Yeah. So no, they came back a, a day after because they, they, they got they the backlash. They apologized. But your thoughts on celebrity kids? Should they be fair game or? Uh, because they really have no choice in the matter. They have to be out there with their parents. In terms of, they, they're too young to really. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, you see, this it, it, it's tough, man, because I don't know uh, how they be, how the upbringing is, and what I mean, what I, what I mean by saying that is, I don't know if I'm teaching. I'm pretty sure you, 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 you know, you teaching your kids. You, you have to have tough, you know, you have to have tough skin because these kids out there. They're gonna make fun of your shoes or your or your eyes or your or your head or it doesn't matter. So you have to have tough skin. Just take it and, and and give it back. But see, I don't know if journalists should be doing that to to uh, to, no, a, to a young kid. Absolutely. You know, uh, I think that creates a, 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 a platform for 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 bullying and 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 and, and you don't want to make a, a child insecure you understand and they, and they, and they, and they grow up with insecurities and but once again i don't know how 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 jay and, and beyonce are raising her or the people around her you know with, regarding her self-esteem and and how to be secure of herself and stuff like that but uh i don't agree with the with the it, it's not about being fair game because I'm, I'm pretty listen we could i, I I got a hundred jokes on Jay Z, uh, on his physical, you know. Let me hear one. Joe, the one that everybody says, Joe, he looks like Joe Camel. You let me get another one. Well, so you only got one. No, no, I got a hundred. A hundred what? Rich jokes? No, I got a hundred jokes on his. Yeah, I'm waiting. Got all day. <clears throat> no, but see, you know, Lewis, if we're gonna start off the new year, you trying to put me in the spots? Put me in because I, I, I. That's I, physically impossible to put you in spots. <laughs> All right, people. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Uh, sorry for the for the little delay. Some people feel they have to travel. Other people stood around. If I had the keys to the studio, I would have been here. But anyhow, thank you for coming back to join us. Brain shooters! We know you could go anywhere else, but we do appreciate that you tune in with us. Uh, 2020, we have some interviews lined up. Yes, good ones. We're coming hard. Woo! Pause. 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 I'm coming hard. I'm coming hard. <laughs> Can you deal with that? <laughs> Be prepared. Be prepared. A lot of good things in store. Oh, shit. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Seriously, now, now you guys have, now you guys have uh, the link to hit me up. Please reach out to us. Let's make this an interactive thing. Uh, YouTube. Oh, just so you know. Thank you for reminding me, Chris. There you go, there you go. That's what I do. I remind stuff. <laughs> we are no longer on... Uh, we, we're still going to be on um, Spotify, uh, Apple, uh, iHeartRadio. However, you're going to be redirected to YouTube. When you go on there, you are not going to get a full episode. You're going to get the link for our YouTube episode. Get yeah, a little snippet. You'll get a little snippet of what's going on. And we hopefully uh, we hope that you follow us on YouTube. 
please bear with us. Understand we're trying to grow something here. And once we get it to where we want, where we need it to go, it will become more central. And uh, you guys won't have to jump all around the place. It's like walking into the house and your mom's cooking and you smell it. That's what's going to happen on other platforms. You're going to smell it. But if you want to eat it, you got to come to YouTube. Subscribe. Good. Good food analogy. Chris. That's what I do. Food analogies 2020. But uh, again, thanks for the support. And you know what we're going to ask you. Please subscribe. you got to hit the subscription button. And I got to commend you guys. You've been doing a great job interacting with us in terms of the like buttons, putting comments. Increase that. Keep that going. We really want to keep it a, a, a two-way thing where we're, we're, we're feeding off each other's energy. You hit us, we hit you back. Nothing but positive vibes for 2020. Breeze through this, Chris. Take us out. I'm going to take us out. First show of the new year. I got a little list I want to share with you guys. 2020 goals. Break a bad habit. If you're smoking, stop smoking. Learn a new skill. Do a good deed. That's a big one for me. Do You don't... Do a good deed. I try to do a good deed every day. Doesn't always work out, but I try. Do a good deed. Visit a new place. Sunset Park. <laughs> uh, read a difficult book. For you, it'll be three eggs and ham. That, 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 that. <laughs> it's not three eggs. It's, it's, three green, eggs. it's green eggs and ham. <laughs> Obviously, he didn't read <laughs> Uh, read a difficult book, write and send a letter to anybody. These times we email in and we send a text, take a pen and a pad, man. People, I feel good when I, when I put this to this. So take a, take a pen and a pad and, 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 and send somebody a letter, man. Send somebody uh, Santa Claus. Send it Santa Claus. It doesn't matter. Just send it somewhere. Face a fear. That's a big one. I like that one. Face a fear. Something you're scared of, face it. Do it. Knock it out. Fear is a liar. Fear don't let you progress in life. Try something new. In your case, silence. <laughs> Zing! I'm, I'm on fire! Yo. <laughs> hey, watch it. And the last but not least... Take a risk. Risk. Take a risk to improve yourself. Much love. Always love. Breeze Shooters. Peace. Woo! Uh, step it up. Step it up. Production. Uh, see, uh, you know, this fucking shit in the new year.